Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video and giving me a shot here today. I'd like to introduce myself if you're new to my channel. My name is The Amazing Fleck, or Doug for short. Either way works fine. And what I'm all about here on my channel is absolute chaos. I post about way too many different things and way too many subjects, way too many categories. And I post every single day for the year of 2021. But one thing I do consistently on this channel is I teach you how to teach yourself how to do the art of contact juggling, which is what you see here. This is contact juggling, the art of keeping in contact with whatever it is that you're juggling. And this, in this case, is a four inch acrylic sphere. And I'd like to teach you how to teach yourself. If you go to my playlist section here on my channel, you can learn more about the contact juggling tutorials playlist or the circus and flow arts playlist, which will teach you how to spin things on your finger like this. This is called pediddling. You can do it with your couch cushions that are nice and flat. You can do it with books, ring binders, server trays, etc., etc. You can spin anything that's nice and flat and wide and not too heavy with relative ease if you watch my video on how to spin things on your finger or pediddle is what it's called. It's a funny word. So if you're subscribed to my channel, you already know how strange and unusual I am and how many interests I carry. But for today, I would like to talk about the art of using a drop spindle. That's right, folks, a drop spindle. I took a wooden dowel, I took some gaffer's tape, I took some CDs, and I taped them together with the gaff tape, and I put a little hook on the tip, available at your local hardware store. And then I proceeded to get lessons from a good friend of mine where I took uh, some fur from my cat. I want to make a scarf from my cat's fur. So yeah, the cat's out of the bag, so to speak. I'm a very strange, unusual guy. I love my cat very much. And I discovered from a dear friend of mine who taught me how to blend wool and blend furs and blend fibers together and how to use a drop spindle in order to make yarn and then to take the yarn that you're making and how to blend it together. Apparently when you use a drop spindle and you spin your fibers together and you create a, uh, a bunch of this yarn. It's not yarn yet. You want to ply them together. So you spin in one direction with your drop spindle and then you take the two yarns that you made and you spin them in the opposite direction so they lock together nice and tight. And then with that piece of yarn you can proceed with your crocheting or your knitting or whatever you want to use your yarn for. So in my case I took my cat's fur, I put it on a blending board with some alpaca and some llama wool and blended it all together nice and easy and then I pulled it off the blending board and I made these little uh, packs. After you pull the fibers off of the blending board, you pull it off of the blending board and you roll it into something called a roll lag. And the roll lag is something that is used in order to spin it on your drop spindle just like this. So I'd like to show you how I use my drop spindle here today and this is one roll that's already done. This is a combination of my cat Lucy's fur with the alpaca because cat fur will not spin properly. It doesn't lock together. It's too straight. So when you spin all the fibers together they just kind of pull right apart. But with alpaca wool and sheep's wool and with llama wool it's curly so it locks together nice and tight so the more you spin it the more it wants to tug on itself and it's got texture that wants to keep it locked together. So I had to blend my cat's fur with some other animal fur which is perfectly cool it's fine with me so now it's gonna actually hold together and then I believe it or not I am a crocheter. I don't know a lot about crocheting but I know enough to be dangerous just enough to make like scarves and blankets and things like that just easy peasy back and forth crocheting technique, nothing big. But it's a fun way, I guess, just to pass some time when I'm uh, watching a movie or something like that to keep my hands busy. Because if you haven't noticed, I was diagnosed with ADD at a very young age, and I just like to keep active and keep doing things whenever I can, or at least whenever I'm not sleeping. And sleep doesn't come too often, but I got lots of good rest today, and I'm obviously rested well enough to talk your ear off about using this here drop spindle. So I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see what's going on a little bit easier. So here we have my drop spindle. I made it myself with a wooden dowel, with some CDs, some gaffer's tape, and with this hook here. And the idea is, is that you want to have uh, your wool ready in a roll leg. In this case, I no longer have my roll legs. I would have liked to show you how to do that, but I finished this a couple months ago. This is the one that has Lucy's fur and the alpaca, or the cornucopia, we'll call it. The cornucopia is a mixture of various animal fibers blended together artfully in a way that makes it very, very good for maximum locking abilities, or something like that. So I'm taking the cornucopia, I'm using my drop spindle, the second drop spindle, to make something comparable to this because what I have to do is ply these two fibers together or these two yarns together to make one strong fiber that I can use for my crocheting to make Lucy's scarf. So I'll have a scarf with Lucy on me wherever I go in the winter to keep me warm. 
All right, so this is how we use the drop spindle. I have this right here just to keep it from unwinding. So I'm gonna take off this little binder clip, just like this. And this hook is to help you spin your fiber. So I take this fiber and you wanna spin in the same direction. I've been spinning clockwise this whole time. So I'll spin, 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 and I'll pinch right here. And I like to hold it with my feet down low, or I'll hold it with my knees so you can see it in the video. And then what you wanna do is you want to pull your fibers. You wanna pull your fibers so it gets nice and thin, but not too thin. If it gets too thin, then it'll just spin apart and break. And if it breaks, that's a whole other thing you have to do in order to get it to stick together. But this is nice and tight right here below the pinch. So when I let go of the pinch, it's gonna go ahead and spin this shut. I'll try to show you up close. There. So when I let go of this, the tension that was on the line uh, went all the way up to the pinch where I'm currently pinching. So now I'm gonna spin again, spin nice and tight all the way through, and then I hold it with my knees down low and then I'm going to go ahead and pull. You see how nice and thick this is here with this cornucopia? We'll pull it so it's a little bit thinner. And then before it gets too thin, I'm gonna let go and allow that to just spin shut, just like that. You see how it got a lot smaller? Because of all the tension in the line from me spinning the drop spindle caused it to spin all the way through. So I'm gonna hold the pinch nice and tight once again. Spin, spin, spin. Hold down low. Transfer the pinch and then pull nice and tight until I get it to the desired thickness and then let go and then you'll see it here, poof, it turns into a little bit of yarn right there. And once again, this is only half the yarn because with the yarn to be proper yarn, it has to be plied together with another piece. So as I'm spinning clockwise with both this and with the other length that I made with the other drop spindle, I wanna keep spinning in the same direction in order to get it locked properly. And then I'll spin in the opposite direction to ply them together properly later on down when this is all finished. There you have it. So as you get longer and longer, what you have to do is unwind around your hook and then wrap it up on the drop spindle until you get to a desired length and then put it back on and wrap around that hook. And the reason I have the gaff tape like this is to create a little bit of a gap right there where this can rest. You wanna have a gap so it can bite into the drop spindle part. Otherwise, it'd just be sitting on some smooth CDs and it'd just unravel. So this helps hold it in place while I'm doing the spinning. Hope that makes sense. Anyways, I have a lot to do today, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. I just wanted to show this to you because I'm a very strange guy, as you might have noticed, and I love my cat very much, and I like creating things. I love art in general. I love all sorts of art. However you want to define it, I personally define art as creative expression. So any way you can express yourself through speech, through music, through movement, through dance, through creating arts and crafts, any way you can express yourself, any way you can put intention and thought and care into creating something, walking as a form of art, talking as a form of art, cooking, you name it, any activity that involves you doing something is an art form, in my opinion. And that's what I'm all about here on my channel, is the art of doing. Doing things, making things happen, and expressing yourself. And on that note, I'd like to express my gratitude for you actually watching this video to the end. I appreciate it very much. Please check out my playlist section to know more about what I'm all about here on my channel. I post weekly circus and flow arts tutorials, contact juggling tutorials. I'll be teaching you how to teach yourself how to walk tight ropes and slack lines in the near future. And I'll be posting about random weird stuff that I'm into, hopefully getting you out there into some of these things that I'm interested in. Life is a beautiful thing. There are so many amazing things about being alive and when people say they're bored, it kind of strikes me in a strange way. I, I have the potential to be bored myself. I'm not above it, I get it. But there's so many things out there and to quote one of my favorite philosophers, modern day philosophers who rest in peace has passed away just this past decade or so, Robert Anton Wilson. He said this, if you're bored, you're not paying attention. And I have to agree with him. Sometimes I find myself not paying attention, forgetting the magic and the mystery and the amazing things that make life worth living because of whatever reasons. Sometimes depression just comes and hits and it hits like a ton of bricks. And it's easy to forget the magic and the beauty in life sometimes. So just remember, life is full of amazing, beautiful things, magic and mysteries galore. There's so many things to be excited about. There's so many things to look forward to and there's so many things to do and so many ways one can express himself. So, thanks very much for watching once again, and I'll end this video the way I've been ending all my videos lately with these words. Remember to never give up. Do your best, stay true to you, and be amazing. And the way to be amazing, my friends, is just 
to be yourself. Be the best version of yourself and do the right thing and you'll be amazing. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful night. Talk to you soon. Bye.